Hi, welcome to Educator.com. Um, in this final uh, part of our web design course, I'm going to go over the extras um, that I added in um, so you can actually do the exporting of databases and um, add a couple things in, um, like the fav icon. Um, so you can basically, um, again, add a little bit more um, visibility to your website. So the fav icon on the website is just a little icon that we would use um, in a website that you would see on, in, the, in the browser settings or the browser where you put the web address. And um, I'll show you that right now, what I'm talking about. So right here in this, in this little uh, area right here, it shows the fav icon and it also shows it in um, where you type in the, the URL of the um, website. So there's actually a little, a couple things you got to do to get this. And um, we're going to go into, um, actually I'm going to go to the website first to show you um, what this actually, what you actually need to do this. So depending on what you're using, there's plugins and it's free. Um, definitely don't have to pay for it. This was a simplified one here that just tells you, you know, pretty much download it. And then you're going to go in and place it um, wherever this directory is, depending on which version you're using of um, your CS uh, suite, okay? Um, but we're using CS4 here, and that's why we're, I'm using this one here. So this is just the directory is a little bit different. In the older versions, um, it would you would go to plugins folder and then file formats. So here it's the opposite um, for the newer versions. Um, once you download it, you're going to basically unzip the file folder and um, you're going to basically drop that the the plugin right in, which will allow you to pretty much open up Photoshop here. And I already kind of already did this, and it's really small. It's a very small size that you're going to actually be using. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, give you um, this canvas size uh, dimensions here. So let me get back to pixels. Okay, so. 16 by 16 is what they suggested. That's exactly what I used. Um, it's very, very tiny. And it should be something that's very simplified. And um, you shouldn't really put a lot of, um, uh, don't make it too graphic -y, because you're not gonna, you're gonna lose it, it's so small. Just make it very simplified. So what I ended up using, um, let me cancel out of this. I use this right here to pretty much uh, just you know, keeping it that size, and I use the K in here, and use this the background color. That's all I need to do um, to basically give you this visibility right, that you're seeing up here. Once this is, uh, once you have your graphic um, set the way you want, all you're going to basically do um, here is uh, when you save the file, you're going to fi go uh, file save as. And you guys can't see this, but uh, because of the the dual screens we're using. But when you go and you go to File, Save As, you're going to get a uh, dialog box here that um, gives you the option now once you um, imported the plugin, you're going to see this ICO uh, Windows icon. Okay, uh, works on Mac too, so you know don't don't think it's only a Windows thing, um, but it is. That's just what they call it. You'll select that. You'll save it into your images folder and then we're going to go into Dreamweaver in a second and actually show you what that code looks like and you'll add that code in to um, the rest of your pages and it will always display that um, that little image there on, on the upper um, part of the browser window okay I'm gonna go ahead and cancel because I already saved uh, my version here I'll close this out um, here and we're gonna go right into the actual Dreamweaver to show you what that code looks like. Okay. This is pretty much what the all your code is. Um, super simple. Um, again, if you're using, um, I know I did this in the past. You, if you're using uh, Dreamweaver uh, as a text editor for your um, your code here, it, it kind of like really puts it in for you. That's kind of a nice thing. So um, as I type in, um, it will just basically add in everything I'm adding. The key part here is to browse to your image, wherever it is. Um, if you already know where your directory is, you can definitely just type this in and put it right in. Um, but since I already did this, it's there. But what all you're doing is just basically linking the image to where it's at. And this is the actual file that I placed into my um, image folder, which I have right here. 
So go to images. Um, I'll see it right here. So that's where I put that little image at. And that's how that reads. And so it knows that it's going to display that little fav icon um, in the appropriate areas. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much the fav icon. Um, again, you can use a lot of different images. I know now it can handle a lot of um, GIF files, like animated files. Um, if you know how to do that, there's definitely some good reading on that if you um, are unsure. Okay. So here. And then we're going to kind of go into the other uh, portion of, of the lessons, um, which is, uh, and it's just a, a reminder here what the sizes are. Um, I use the Photoshop, and then um, you can also use generators as well. And there is a decent amount of generators that you can use if, in case you don't have Photoshop. Um, you're, you're not, uh, you're okay. You can definitely use this. So if I just Google here. Um, let's type in uh, fav icon generators. Um, and basically, you're gonna um, you'll follow the prompts. You'll put your image in, and it will actually create it all there for you um, in these different uh, supported uh, files that you can import in, and it will go ahead and do it for you and give you the output file that you basically are gonna just drop into your images folder again and, and redo over, okay? I'll basically go through all the steps I just went through over. There's a lot of them out there, so you can kind of like, you know, see which one you like, um, but um, you don't really have to pay for them, so don't, you know, if they start charging you for something like that, um, you know, maybe don't go to that one, because it's uh, definitely, they're free. It's something you have to buy, pay for. Um, okay, so we got that one uh, covered. Now we're gonna go into